Oh, but wait, y'all. Because there's more. My man Samson coming at us with another one. And we finna get into it. But first, intro. Yo, what is good, fam? Bam, it is your boy Jason JV alongside with my man Beetlejuice here as my co host. And yeah, we about to check out another drop from Samson. And man, if this is anything like that price hike one, man, I, I have a feeling, man, we about to get just as passionate in this one as we did in the last one. Y'all want my full thoughts on price hike? Hey, that was my most recent reaction, man. Go check that out. <clears throat> and uh, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into this one. This one called Sincerely a Taxpayer. And man, I can't wait to get into this one. I'm sure y'all can't either. Hence why you're here. So without, without further ado, showtime. 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 All right, let's go ahead and get into this, y'all, by liking the hit here. I'm hurting. I can feel my money draining. They take everything I'm making. You wonder why I'm complaining. I break my neck to make this money. Then they just come and take it from me. My wages ain't that great in the first place. I should be paying you nothing. Facts. I agree with that wholeheartedly because taxation is theft. They're a bunch of thieves. You know what I mean? Stealing our money and putting it towards what? Towards a war that we have no business being a part of. You know what I mean? A war that we never wanted in, in in the first place you know what i'm saying yeah uh, no thank you and they kind of find out that the people that we're giving money to are supporting um some nazis right they just honored a, a a nazi and they're trying to declare that nazi a hero you know what i'm saying hmm 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 so to the left side writers out there let me just say pop me kettle i'm just saying anyway but they keep on coming and they keep on taking these motherfuckers go ham on me every time i bring home the bacon and i wonder what it's for ukraine great funding a war have we spent enough yet should i guess not look here they come for some more yep and this this goes to show how how messed up our our priorities are you know what i'm saying we're, we're, we're giving money towards the, the these people again who are actually some some racist you know what i'm saying and instead of giving money to the folks over in Maui, you know what I mean, that really need it. And by the way, shout out to the Trump family for helping out the folks in Maui. Oh, yeah. Best believe your boy saw that Benny Johnson video where Benny Johnson talked about Trump family being over in Maui, helping out the people over there, hooking them up with, with some supplies, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm sure they didn't have a problem, you know, donating um, some, some millions over there, you know what I mean, to help those people rebuild their homes, you know what I'm saying? So, yo. People can say what they want about the Trump family, but at least they're actually doing something instead of, you know, panhandling out to us, the working class folks, expecting us to give our hard-earned scratch to help them rebuild their homes. You know what I'm saying? When really, the the uh, two jabrones who started the People's Fund to Maui, they should have been there, you know what I'm saying, hooking the people up with, with, with supplies and some money and everything. And to their credit, yes, they did donate it tens of millions, and I bet that hurt, but yo... Do better. I'm just saying. Anyway. And the, the, the internet be annoying me. Fuck me, I'm sore. Sucks being poor. You had the same job for the last six years. What is struggling before? Back on Trump. Facts. Facts. Had the same job that you have for years. And you weren't struggling before, but now you're struggling all of a sudden. Hmm. I, gee, I wonder why that is. Maybe because the current administration's failed policies was an office fuck all the junk that they called him i never saw any of the shit that people always said he was in the comments all of it was nonsense i ain't even trying to ride him either i'm just saying you gotta admit this shit was fine when he was the leader it was fine when he was in charge i never saw bills as high as they are i never and he's not wrong we were in a better spot with old 45 in charge when trump was in charge everything was a whole lot better man we had a stronger economy we were more self-efficient we weren't reliant on foreign oils we weren't reliant on Foreign energy, bruh. Never got chills just literally thinking about filling up my car. It shouldn't be that way. I don't nope. care about Russia or Ukraine, but I do care about my own country. Is that insane? I care. Facts. What goes on outside of our country, that's none of our business. 
that doesn't concern us. What goes on inside of our country, that is our business. That does concern us. You know what I'm saying? We the people, everybody in this country, every man, woman, and child in this country, we matter more. We come first. Our country comes first. You know what I'm saying? Everything else outside, it's just noise that we don't need to be a part of. A lot about all the tons of money that we're paying because it's mine, not yours, and I'm the one that feels the pain. I get taxed on my... Exactly. All, every every dollar that I earn, that is rightfully mine. I, I'm the one who's getting off my ass every day, going to work every day, and I'm working for mine, for my keep. You know what I mean? And, and I got to give these people who already have money a shit ton of it. I got to give them some of my money that I, I worked hard for? Really? A fucking ass for every dime I make. It'd be fine if they would spend my money wisely, but no way. It'd be great if they would take it and pay for important shit that benefited you and me and not just wage your wars with it. And where the f Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. See, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind, you know, giving you some of my money. As long as it's going to it, it, towards a worthy cause. A war is not a worthy cause. You know what I'm saying? Helping folks who just lost their homes, that's a worthy cause. Priorities, people. Priorities. Fuck are all the liberals. I thought you stood against this shit. I thought the war machine was your enemy. Now you're... Yeah, I thought Democrats hated wars. And the, the Republicans are the ones who are pro-war. The hell happened? How did that flip? Friends with it? Now you want to go to war? Now you want to fight? Now you want to pick sides in a feud where everyone is white? Now you want to get involved and go and... Yeah, ain't that ironic? You want to go and pick sides in, in, a, in a war where everyone who's fighting in this war, they're all white. Oh, the irony. I'm just saying. Blow a person up, I'm just saying. I'm surprised this altercation ain't diverse enough. No one deserves this stuff. I just don't believe the tears you weep. Countries where brown people get bombed every day. I don't hear a peep, you fucking hypocrites. Facts. Facts. I thought the race thing was your shtick. I thought as long as white people were involved, you don't give a shit. Those are your facts, which still makes them racist, ironically enough. Your words, not mine. I'm just wondering why. Why yep. do we have endless money for them and none for Hawaii? Why is it every time... We got endless money for them, but none for Hawaii. Bruh. He ain't wrong. My man coming with the facts. He ain't wrong. Let's go, Samson. Talk, yo. Shit, my man. Zelensky needs a loan from someone. We're the only ones that give it to him like we owe him something. We got issues of our own here at home that no one's discussing. And they keep growing because no one in power is going to do nothing. We're stuck. Mm. How the fuck we going to help somebody else when we can't even reach inside our own pockets to help ourselves? We could allocate. Facts. How can we go and help people outside of our country that had nothing to do with us and we can't even help ourselves right now? Because we're barely getting by. We're, we're struggling ourselves. We're barely getting by. We're going from paycheck to paycheck. Take that money to our own people in different ways to clothe and feed and bathe and let them know it'll be okay. We could def Exactly. You know, um, you know how, how, how much we can reduce the homeless population if we redirect the funds towards our own. You know what I'm saying? You know how many people we can take off the street. You know what I'm saying? If we invest into more homeless shelters, you know, so these people can have an address. You know what I'm saying? That they can put on a job application. So they they can they can pick themselves up. They can get themselves off the street and go help themselves by working, get get a job. How can they get a job when nowadays, you know, when in order for you to go apply for a job, you have to apply online. How can they do that with no electricity, no shelter to apply for a job with no address? Make that make sense. Definitely do that. Don't tell me it's not that simple. People overcomplicate this and make it some fucking riddle like <laughs> can't just feed everyone. Are you insane? You know how much that costs? Way less than we've sent to Ukraine. I know that for facts. Facts. Yeah, we don't have money to feed our own right now because again, all of our money, damn near all of our money, if not all of our money, is going over to a, again a war that we have no business being in. If all that money was being redistributed towards our own we be in a lot better shape. Less homeless on the street, bringing property value down.
my God, man. My God. San Francisco will be a much cleaner city if we can get all the homeless off the streets and to a shelter or, again, that has an address that they can use to go apply for a job and collect a check. For sure, you don't have to be a mathematician or a foreign relations expert to figure out that division. You don't have to draw a graph to see it would cost a fraction to solve half of the problems we have and stop them from happening. I'm just saying, what kind of fucking world we living in? So many billions we've given them, when's Europe chipping in? When we gonna start splitting and stirring up the dividends and begin telling other nations it's your turn to lend a hand? Listen, I don't... Facts. Why aren't we telling these other nations, all right, hey, yo, we, we've given you some, now you got to give back. It is your turn. But see, Biden's not going to do that. The Democrats aren't going to do that. Why? Because they're a bunch of pushovers. They're a bunch of peons. To a lot of these, to a lot of these other countries, you know what I mean? Especially to, to, to China. China will, will eat a Democrat's lunch without any problem, and the Democrat will just sit there and let and watch them do it. When Trump was in charge... Trump took control, told China, no. Instead of us paying you, you owe us. We don't owe you no more. You owe us now. And you're going to pay up. That's the kind of person we need in charge. I think Ukraine deserves any of this, but I also don't think Zelensky is as great as they said he is. I don't believe... That, that, that is all facts, too. You know what I'm saying? No, he, Z Zelensky is not a quality man, especially with him celebrating the, the life of a now uh, deceased Nazi? No. Leave the media when they blurt shit on their shows. You'd have to be naive to think this dude's as pure as driven snow. No one is, especially when you run a nation, dog. Your morals are compromised the minute that you take the job. So I don't trust Zelensky, Putin, Biden, or any. Facts, man. When you become a leader, right, and you're making that leader money, bruh, I don't care what anyone says. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Greed corrupts absolutely. When I don't think any of them give a fuck about all us little ones All the people of Russia, all the people of Ukraine Most of the people of the USA probably feel the same We don't want this shit, it's only the elites that do They line their pockets, they profit from this But not from me and you, quite the contrary In fact, we pay for it with our lives and money They take chunks of everything we make And soldiers die for nothing So they can gain some more power Facts, facts, facts And to kind of piggyback the point off of When he says soldiers die for nothing when we surrender our rights, right, our First Amendment right, our Second Amendment right, it's also being under attack, you know what I'm saying? And God forbid, you know what I mean, that, that gets taken away. But when you're surrendering rights, you know what I mean, your, your right to free speech and, you, and your right to open carry, you know what I mean, to bear arms, you know what I'm saying? Who's thinking about the men and women in uniform who sacrifice who sacrifice everything. And by everything, I mean sacrifice their lives to protect our rights, to protect our freedoms. That don't just apply to certain select people. They, they, they apply to every American in this great country of ours, including me, including you that's watching right now. When you give in to 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 big daddy government saying hey we we need your rights because we got to protect you from you you know whether it's this pandemic or whatever or some 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 terrorist attack you know what i'm saying think about the men and women overseas that are that are fighting for everything that are sacrificing everything and think about the families of these fallen soldiers who, who gave everything to make sure that we have our rights and our freedom. That's something to marinate on. And keep their banks fat and all we get is table scraps fuck yeah it makes me mad fuck yeah i get upset we're constantly ignored why the fuck i gotta pay for this i don't want this war how the pentagon have six billion unaccounted for but when i do my taxes i'm afraid to be a dollar short i'm afraid i'll go to jail i'm afraid i'll do some time if i don't yeah ain't that some shit if us the the, the little people we if we mess up on our on our taxes we can do time in jail for that well, meanwhile, these rich elitists, if they screw up on their taxes, nothing happens to them. 
I don't pay you back the money that you wasted that was mine. I can't keep quiet anymore. It's impossible to shut up. I'm sick and tired of being responsible for all your fuck ups. But the question is, what are we going to do about it? There's never a plan of action. All we seem to do is shout it. And I'm guilty of it, too. Always bitching. Same here. I'm guilty of it, too. You know what I mean? I know I'd be, I be on my soapbox. I'd be yelling my shit and everything. But he's right, though. Now is the time for action. You know what I mean? And how and how do we act on these things? We vote. We vote and we vote against failed policies and we vote in favor of policies that make sense. Policies that are actually gonna help our country thrive. Power power. Uh we vote for policies that's gonna help us, the working class people, the lifeblood of this country of ours. We vote for what is best for us, not what is best for, for the rich, not what is best for these elites. No, we vote for what is best for us, us the people. I don't care what political party you're affiliated with. That doesn't matter. What matters most is that you're, you're a, a, an American and you have the power to use your voice through voting. And say, no, we are done with these failed policies. We are done with you greedy assholes, you know what I mean, that are recklessly spending money on things that don't matter, you know what I mean, that go against our personal interests. You know what I'm saying? We had enough. We're done with you. We're going to go. We're gonna do something different. We're going to try something different. We're going to go with someone who actually cares about us, someone who actually cares about our country. And it's going to put us and our country first. Let's go. And complaining, never walking, always talking, always lipping off and saying I'm going to do shit, but I don't. And to be honest with you, that's the reason I don't make a lot of songs. And that's the truth. I'm sick of bumping my gums. I'm tired of flapping my jibs. Something needs to be done. And I don't know if rapping is it. We need a real solution, but we need to get together first. Because unless we're all in this as a whole, it'll never work. However, what do I know? Exactly. If we band together, right? We work together. We're all on the same page. We can really turn things around for the better. He's right. Just talk, sitting around on your ass, you know, uh, freaking just, just armchair quarterbacking like he's doing right now, as he, as he pointed out, and as I'm doing, obviously, instead of doing that, you know what I mean? Just talking a good game, you know what I mean? It, it's it's time to for our actions to match our words. It's time for us to practice what we preach. It's time for us to be about it and not just talk about it. I'm just saying. No, I'm just a moron with a pen, but there's power in numbers and there's more of us in them. Facts. Facts. He said, I'm a moron with, with a pen, but keep in mind there are more of us than them. Safety in numbers. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged, and nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Good, honest, hard-working people, white collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on, continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you at all, at all, at all. Hey, shout out to George Carlin. God bless George, George Collin. I like that my man incorporated that clip there because it's true. Man, go watch those old uh, George Carlin uh, stand-up specials and tell me, tell me that, the, that that man's words aren't relevant to this day. It re it'll really make you think. But anyway, y'all. This was Samson with Sincerely a Taxpayer. Definitely had to match the like on this one because I am with this one 100%. If y'all are too and you ain't rocking with, with Samson yet, yo, go check him out, man. Go check out his content. Go show some love too while you're at it. Support the homie. Let him know that your boy JJV done sent you. Sure, he would appreciate that, as would I. <clears throat> and also, don't forget to support my channel if you're new here and you're with the vibes. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. You can also follow me on Rumble. Link for that is in the description down below as well as in my bio section. And yes, uh, my most recent uploads are, are over there right now. And I'm uh, trying to get the rest of my content copied over there as well. So yeah. All right, y'all. On behalf of Beetlejuice and myself, 
want to uh, also would like to remind you don't forget to uh, visit the uh, merch store pick up some merch you know what I mean we got the free DJ 2024 you know mugshot lineup you know what I'm saying t-shirt go, go pick up a t-shirt hoodie or a coffee mug or all three if you like you know what I'm saying if you're if you're really feeling, feeling generous that would be very much appreciated also don't forget my anti-jab shirt as well the uh, pure blooded one hundo you know what I'm saying with the pit bull wearing the shades on it you know what I'm saying Go pick up that shirt as well if you never got the jab and you're happy that your blood is still pure. You know what I'm saying? You're proud of the fact that your blood is still pure. Go pick up an anti-jab Pitbull t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, that one comes in more variety. That one, ha you can get a t-shirt, you can get a hoodie, you can get a windbreaker jacket, windbreaker pullover, a windbreaker zip up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, <clears throat> totally up to you. The options are there. And uh, shout out to everyone that's been buying the merch. And shout out to everyone that's been supporting the channel. Really means the world. All right, y'all. I think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, here is your boy, Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. i catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Patrick. I'm not happy to do that. Who's saying what's up to me? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, if you're sad, if you're happy. I'm not gonna be too happy. I'm gonna be expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!